Dave Roberts now available. First questions from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Hey, Doc. Just wondering if we might be able to get an update on uh, Clayton and how he's doing and when you might think he'd be available for you guys. You know, uh, every day, Alana, it's been better. Um, so I, I can't just sit here right now and say he's going to start tomorrow. But uh, I think if it progresses uh, the way it has, it, it's a likely possibility. Um, but again, this is, you know, making sure Clayton feels good tomorrow when he wakes up. And, um, you know, the training staff gives us our, our blessing as well. Perfect world. He starts for you tomorrow, though, if everything goes well. I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that that would be very ideal. What's your message to the team as they take the field tonight? Obviously, you have a lot of faith in Julio Urias, but down 0-2, what are you, what are you telling them, if anything? I, I, nothing. I, I think it's just there's a good vibe in the clubhouse. There really is. It's, uh, it's a very focused, um, uh, loose group and uh, just ready to win a baseball game. And, and honestly, I think that, you know, the first couple starters for those guys, uh, you know, even, you know, four innings for Anderson, and they threw well. Um, and I think that the ninth inning showed a lot of life. And um, so we're, 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 we'll be fine. Yeah, our you focus is just to win a baseball game. Absolutely. You showed a lot of life there in the ninth inning, as you mentioned. How important is it for you to get on the board early in this one and not have to wait until those later innings? I think that would make life a little bit easier. Um, you got to give credit. Uh, yesterday, uh, Smitty hit that ball down the line and Riley made a nice play and then uh, Freddie's uh, stretch. And that could have been a different game. But I think that certainly getting a lead uh, would be nice. Um, but you just got to go out there, take it bats, and uh, we're the visitors. So hopefully we can jump on them early. But, uh, you know, just go out there and play 27 outs and um, we'll be okay. Thank you. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, uh, over these last handful of seasons, what have you learned about Arias and just kind of the heartbeat, so to speak, in the big moment? Uh, you said it. You, you nailed it, Dylan. Um, his heartbeat is, uh, is next level. Um, this guy um, wants to be the guy, um, but um, really has that resolve, that humility, that amazing compete. Um, this guy's a budding superstar, and I just feel really good. Everyone in that clubhouse feels so good with him taking the mound tonight. You know, given that kind of fearlessness that he has and his ability to miss bats, I mean, is there any thought maybe that his future could be, say, as a closer? Um, well, right now, uh, we could have that conversation later. But right now, uh, I love him as a starter for the Dodgers in, in game three. But I think with Julio, with his mind, uh, with his skill set, he can do anything uh, on the mound. Thank you. Yeah. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Dave, can a ninth inning like last night change the momentum of the series for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I think that just – for our guys to get Melanson in there for a second night, I thought that was huge. Um, I, I thought for Cody, uh, you know, you can see him frustrated last night, but then to catch a barrel, to leg out a triple, I thought was huge. Um, to see um, Muncy uh, hit a homer to the pool side, huge. Um, and what Corey did earlier to kind of breathe a little life into our club. Uh, going opposite way with the homer. So there's a lot of good things. And, and A.J. barreled the last pitch, um, just hit right at, at the third baseman. So uh, certainly that's something that we're building on. And uh, I expect Mookie to set the tone again tonight. Next question from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead. Dave, uh, Turner and Pollock, uh, they're healthy? Yeah, yeah, they're healthy. I, I just want uh, – I really, you know, um, just kind of looking at um, – you know, you're playing two four-hour games – um, and potential of seven in a row. Um, I want to make sure JT stays fresh. Uh, he's fine with the DH role. He likes it. And I think this will be his last DH game and uh, get him back out there at third base tomorrow. But I think that to get Eddie in there, I like the matchup. Um, I want to get him involved. So, um, and I trust the defense. So, yeah, they're fine. And AJ, he'll be ready at some point in the middle of the game. Thanks. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, it's sort of a boxing analogy here that will get Dylan excited. Um, do you feel like you guys have landed some body blows, just the way you guys have worked counts in the first two games, and just getting to their bullpen last night late when maybe they thought they wouldn't have to? 
Absolutely. I, I do. I do. And, and I think that um, obviously um, results are, are most important and winning a series mm -hmm. most important. But I do believe that how we are going about these first two games, which uh, we haven't won, um, but I do believe that uh, mm -hmm. wins are coming. And our focus is tonight to win a baseball game. And if we just continue to, uh, for me, remain steadfast, we will come out victorious. Is Dustin May available tonight? Dustin is, um, we'll see, we'll see. I, I don't expect Dustin to pitch though. And uh, just to, I guess, Debbie down here, what if Clayton Kershaw is not the guy tomorrow? Um, if, if Clayton Kershaw is not the guy, we'll, we'll, we'll adjust. We're ready. We got, we got a good, uh, good uh, as uh, Cash said it, we got a good staple of arms. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Are you uh, concerned at all about Rio's mobility on defense? No, no. Um, Eddie, um, the strength and conditioning guys, the training staff, everyone uh, feels that he's in a good place. So, um, no, not at all. We're talking to Mookie. Uh, he said he feels a responsibility to be the spark that gets the offense going. As deep as your lineup is, do you still feel that he's kind of, when he goes, you go? Um, I, I think that's certainly the case, um, but I don't, you know, I, I respect um, him feeling the, that kind of responsibility, but there's still eight other guys and some guys that aren't starting that we all got to do our part. You know, we all got to take good at bats. Um, Mookie's just continuing to win pitches, win at bats, and we all got to do our part. But uh, certainly him at the top uh, to do his thing makes uh, it easier for everyone else, I guess. Thanks. Next question from Scott Braun. Go ahead. Hey, Doc, just looking back at, at Clayton's last start, you know, his velocity numbers like in the fifth and sixth fastball slider uh, drop. Did you guys notice that? And did, was that concerning or, or lead to the back conversation at all? No, Scotty. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Not at all. Um, I think this was a separate thing. And even two starts, but two starts ago was really good. And I didn't know that the velocity was ticked down his last one. Um, but I think that there are two separate things. And each day from last Saturday, this past Saturday, he's felt better. So we're encouraged. Next question is from John Morosi. Go ahead. Thanks so much, uh, Dave. I was curious to ask whether it's in baseball Baseball or in life in general, do you have some favorite philosophies or people who have really influenced you on how to handle a day like this where you're trying to straddle that balance between making a couple adjustments here and there, but also wanting to project calm and just get your guys in the right frame of mind? Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily know it's one person, JP. I, I just think that, uh, you know, in any, any leader um, for any organization or team, I, I just think that the sense of calm and optimism um, resonates in the clubhouse or, or office or whatever it might be. And, and it just stems from my belief in the guys, from the players to the coaches uh, to the entire organization. So I think that um, I believe in, in what we're doing. And just to kind of focus on today, today is, uh, is plenty. So to kind of dwell on things that you can't control that don't affect today is just not productive. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, um, how aggressive was uh, Clayton's uh, bullpen yesterday? And is there any sort of workout that he's going to go through today that he needs to clear? Um, it was a pretty aggressive one. Uh, he was letting it go, um, came out of it great. Um, talked to him briefly today. He's in a good head space. And so um, I, I just know that we're in a better place than we were yesterday. So what that means, um, I, I don't know quite yet. But he doesn't need to do anything on the field today? No. Okay, thanks, Dave. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Claudia. Hey, Dave, can you say that the team is kind of going through a slump, or do you feel like that you guys could have been more aggressive at those early innings? Um, I definitely don't think a slump, Claudia. I, I think that, you know, that first night freed through really well, and uh, we, we ran into their best relievers and pitched well. Um, I'm just really hopeful that last night, that ninth inning really sparked us. And so I just want us to keep taking good at bats, one pitch at a time. But uh, I just trust these guys that um, we'll, we'll get going. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.